Hi everyone, I'm Raul, and today we're going to be talking about two cool features that got released with the latest D5 software. Uh, first, you want to make sure that you have the latest version, which is 2.10 installed. And the way you do that is just open up D5 and it's going to prompt you to make the update. Once you do that, go ahead and open up a project. Then you want to come to your menu, hit preference, and under the rendering tab, you want to make sure that you have real-time path tracing turned on. You're going to see a small change here. And there you go, now it's on. But the next thing you wanna do is you wanna come over to display and this are gonna be the new settings that you can mess with. If you have it maxed out, it's gonna take a little longer to press the image uh, or you can just do the basic settings and turn that off. You wanna come over and hit accumulate and then you're gonna see how this starts to process. Be aware that if you change the camera angle or anything with the camera or if you hit escape, it's going to stop processing the image and you're going to have to come in and just hit accumulate one more time. Okay, so the image is on processing now and there's some things I can already tell look better. The reflection on this metal piece look a little more realistic and also the way the light goes through the glass and it bounces off the glass just looks a little better as well. Just so that you know, if you have an image that has a lot of reflective materials like tiles or mirrors, whenever you turn on real-time path tracing, it's going to make your image look a hundred times better. The next feature we're going to talk about, it's going to be a city builder. It's a cool little feature that it's going to save you so much more time whenever you're trying to populate your image with the surrounding buildings. All you have to do is come over to the terrain tab and hit city. And then here you're going to select what part of the world you want to build into a 3D file. So you are limited to a specific area here. It's in red, which means you can't do it. And you either zoom in or you can just kind of move the square around into a space that's small enough for it to process. And right now we're going to choose Midtown in New York City. And all you have to do is just import and just let it process and it's going to create or generate all the information you need. And there you have it. We have New York City mapped out with just a click of a button. Uh, the next cool thing is that everything is layered out for you already. So if you do the drop down arrow, you can see how everything is grouped into roads, buildings and parks. Uh, you can assign materials to it just to kind of change the scene and make it look however you want to make it look. If you guys found this information helpful, please hit a like and subscribe. Just so that you know, I am working on a long tutorial video on D5 Render as well as other software. But in the meantime, I'll be releasing small features like this talking about cool things that you can do with each software. If there's anything you'd like me to cover, please drop it down below in the comment section and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Again, I'm Raul and thanks for watching.